I do want to talk about the saturation or the perceived um, oversaturation of this market at this point. Um, I still actually, even though there are a lot more producers, there's a lot more eyeballs, a lot more attention going into this side of the business. I don't believe that we've hit a, a point where it's not worth it to get involved anymore. Um, even though there are many more people trying to get involved, many more producers now being aware of it. Yes, I'm definitely one of the uh, the, the causes of that. Sorry, guys. But um, I don't think that I, I want to make sure that there's a, a separation for you guys listening that it's a difference between having a higher bar, the, the bar set a little bit higher to be uh, into this business, to get accepted by a library, to be really competitive, is not the same thing as it's too saturated, it's not worth getting involved with. Those are two separate things. Um, I think that even though there are a lot of people trying to get accepted by libraries and a lot of producers now um, learning about this game, learning how to succeed, I still don't think that there are too many producers with high quality tracks out there. I don't think that we're even close to that uh, level of satura oversaturation where it's like, hey, don't even bother. There's really no space for you. Um, and the main reason for that is, believe it or not, human laziness and most people's inability to consistently stick with a, a goal for longer than six months. It really comes down to that. Um, most producers, most musicians are not able to do this. It's a very, uh, it's very simple, but it's very difficult. Um, it's not easy to basically make a choice, make a commitment. Uh, and obviously, I think even step one, creating a full album. I think if you just get through that first hurdle, I was actually just having an email with one of my students the other day about that, um, who had the same concern, like, is it even worth it? Should I get involved? Um, and I, I always just try to give them that encouragement to say, yes, it's not it's not easy to get a full album completed, especially when you're kind of flying blind, you're running on faith, essentially hoping that that entire album gets accepted by a library. Um, and sometimes, you know, being motivated to work on an album for a month or two without having a, a for sure definite, it's not like when you have a day job and your boss tells you, if you don't get this done, you're fired. Okay, you've got your incentive right there. You gotta get it done. But this is a situation where you're now your own boss, you're your own manager, you're scheduling out your own time. And just that ability to be able to decide the goal, set the goal, schedule out the goal week by week, and most importantly, execute on the goal and actually get that done, and then rinse and repeat that process over and over and over again, that is the core fundamental um, skill set that will make you, um, um, how should I say, a, a superhero, essentially. Like you will not be um, at all vulnerable to a, an over, quote unquote, oversaturated market. Because most people, I'm telling you guys, it's like 95, 97, maybe 98% of people do not have that ability. We live in a world now where we want things instantly, we get distracted, social media, streaming, video games, all of these have been specifically designed to manipulate your attention, keep you distracted, keep you sucked into wormholes, keep you away from your goals, keep you away from doing something that might be difficult. They're about instant gratification. So a big chunk of succeeding is learning how to turn off distractions, like turning off things that are getting in the way of you making these goals and sticking to them week by week. So I wanna make sure you guys are aware of that, even though we are talking about, yes, there's a lot more people getting involved, a lot more people submitting. Um, you're not even close to the point where it's not worth getting involved, it's not worth submitting to a library. You can still find an incredible niche to serve, you can still be an incredible partner with a music library, um, and you can still absolutely just kill it in this business. And I'm not saying this out of theory, I actually have successful producers. In fact, I will be releasing, um, well, by the time this podcast comes out, I probably already released it. One of my um, Sync Academy students that just got a placement for the um, Zombieland 2 trailer that just came out. So biggest sync fee he's ever gotten in his life. He was involved in sync licensing long before he was in Sync Academy, but he was just not getting the results that he wanted. And with the training that he got in Sync Academy, he's now able to directly um, uh, serve the needs of the library. And he's only partnered with one library, actually. And I kind of gave him some advice. I said, you, may, you might want to start partnering with a second one as well, just to kind of build up your relationship network a bit. But even with just one library, He's now um, basically at the peak of his career and he's been in the industry for a long, long time, for many, many years. So these are the kind of stories that I get and I have firsthand knowledge and I'm, I'm sharing them with you guys so that you guys also see for yourself that it's not oversaturated. The best days are not behind you. Um, it's not too late to get involved, but you do have to have that persistence and, and sticking with it. So anyways, I didn't mean to hog the mic too much, Trevor. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I mean, it is your podcast. I'm just, I guess so. I'm along for the ride. That, no, it was really good though. But um, <clears throat> that that whole that tangent you just went on is is so important. Like, and, and coming from the receiving end of that, like as a business who, you know, 
I'm my email, my inbox is not flooded with music. I know there's tons of it out there. I know there's tons of people who are making it. I know there's tons of people who want to do things, but they're not doing it. There's, there is definitely an oversaturation of lazy people. <laughs> if if the, you know, it's the best way to put it. And, and, <clears throat> and to, to just step up above the lazy people thing, it, it just get one more step above and just a few more steps. All it is is work. So, so like the, I've said this thing before is, um, it's not a, th this isn't a high risk, high reward scenario. This is a high work, high reward scenario, which means that all you have to do is work more than like a bunch of people. And then it stops being risky anymore because you're, you're, you've now, you're now out of the crowd because the crowd is mostly a bunch of people who are like, well, I have some music, you know, I kind of do it. I'm like mediocre, or a little bit better than mediocre, but I don't put as much time in as I would like to, or as I say, I do. A lot of people are like, I'm working on it all the time and they're not. And then you just beat out that group and you're now in the 2%. And then once you hit that part, there's no such thing as saturation anymore. I don't, I don't like the term oversaturation because it really means that you are in with the 98% that aren't doing anything or aren't that good or aren't that, they don't have a good worth ethic or whatever their thing is. That's the saturated part. But once you've stepped out of that, it's highly unsaturated. I mean, like what, what the, the uh, album thing that I was talking about earlier in the last year, year and a half, I've maybe gotten an email with a full album maybe three times. And I've, out of all of the emails that I've received, like pitches or people sending me like music, oh, hey, this, check me out or whatever. It's almost always like, I can do this for you or I might be able to do this for you or can I, you tell me what you need and then I'll spend a bunch of time, you know, probably doing this, but probably not. I've had my experience that's something that never works out. And the, all of those people are the saturated part. But then once, you know, that, and every, I think all but maybe one of those albums that I've, I think I've received a full album or like an 80% done album, maybe four times in the last two years, I think I've accepted all except one. And <clears throat> it's not, it's, part of it is, you know, they're higher quality. Obviously they took a lot of time to make a full album. They're just going to be better in general than some dude making one album, but also like just the amount of problems that I don't have to deal with because it's already done is is alone enough to, for me to be like I should consider this because I there's a lot of work I don't have to do now you know they and so that right there that's not oversaturated like I said in the last two years I got maybe four of them that's not oversaturation at all and that but in in in, in a lot of people's minds and I and I know a lot of people and I was this way at some point you know in my in at different points in my career where I'm just like man there's so many people and really what it is is it is you are in that group at that moment and it does look like there's a bunch of people around you because you're stuck in that big crowd and you're like, man, this is oversaturation, not realizing that there's a door that you have to go through next and now you're in this other room and there's nobody in there. And you're like, okay, this industry isn't saturated anymore. That was just some crappy room I was in. <laughs> so I, th I think that once that kind of thing gets out of your brain, and this is true in so many industries, that's why people on like YouTube and, and books and stuff write about this, which is, like you get your mindset out of the oversaturation part and get into just like hard work and like succeeding like that. Once you're, you're past that part, you're, you're good. You're, there's not a saturation anymore because most people can't get out of that mental block of this is just too much. And <clears throat> once you can, once you get out of that first room, then it's just not, I wouldn't say smooth sailing, but you get it at that point. And it's just hard work and good payoff at that point.